Hello everybody, my name is Deanne Carloni and I am one of the string teachers at Brass Bell Music Store. Today our topic is going to be all about how to sit with your cello. The first thing that we need to go over is the end pin. The end pin being this metal rod at the very bottom of our cello. The end pin is going to help us find the right height that we need in order to play our cello. So I like to gently set the cello across my knees and then I take this little lever that's attached to the end pin and I loosen it up so that I can slide the end pin out. It's very important to make sure that you also tighten that lever back up. If we don't tighten that lever back up, the end pin will still be loose and it can slide or slam back into the instrument and we don't want that to happen. We don't want the cello to hit the floor if any damage happened to the bottom of the instrument. So we need to take the end pin out and then tighten this lever. Now, we know if our cello is the right height, if the bottom corners of the cello are just about even with the bend of our knees. If the bottom corners are not even with the bend of your knees, then you can take that end pin out and readjust it or slide it in or pull the end pin out just a little bit more to find the height that's most comfortable for you. A couple other important things to think about is that it does help to sit on the edge of our chair and have our feet flat on either side of our cello to keep it to make sure it has a very nice center of balance. And on top of that, we also want to make sure that we never reach forward with our body to come to the cello. We want our cello to lean in and come to us. Another thing to be aware of is that when we play the cello, we don't want the cello to be standing straight up and down in front of us. The cello should be resting at an angle. I think of it like an angle of like the slope of a mountain. If you're going to ski or sled down the mountain, that's the angle that your cello should be at. And it should make it easier to see your fingers of your left hand as you are playing. If your cello is straight up and down, it becomes a lot harder to see what our left hand fingers and our right hand bow is doing because standing straight up and down it kind of partially blocks that view. And another important thing to think about is that your cello neck should be resting over your left shoulder and the bottom pegs should go backwards behind your head, behind your ear. We don't actually want the top of the fingerboard or the pegs to rest on our shoulder that can be painful or rub against your shoulder if the cello were to move or accidentally slide around. So in summary, we need to determine the correct height of our end pin and make sure that you tighten the silver lever after you slide the end pin out so it doesn't, so the cello does not come crashing down on you. We should be sitting on the edge of our chair with our feet flat on either side of the cello. The cello comes to us. We don't lean forward to meet the cello. The cello should be at an angle, not straight up and down. And the neck of the cello should be over our left shoulder and the pegs should reach back behind our ears. It should not be resting on our shoulders at all. Thank you so much everybody and happy practicing.